hey collabby type people this is this is weird it's difficult it's different than doing like a vlog which I kept doing for a while and kind of still do eh, haven't decided yet but it it's weird to be talking to you guys again and like I was watching my old video back and like my last video and I was so upset because I was like this is the end of an era like collab did so much for my life and like I'll never do another collab video again and here we are like three years later doing a collab video like three and nine months I counted because I'm that type of person um, but yeah it's just it's crazy watching those videos back watching all the collab videos I was just like oh look at we're so little and like oh my god and why didn't I participate more there's so many weeks where it's like fun themes and I was like no I don't have time for this and like now I have the least amount of time I've ever had in my life uh, because of work and I'll get to that because I'm gonna try and go chronologically because I feel like it will be easier but I've already done this video like eight times and it's just it's not easy to recap like three years of your life. Um, so when the club ended, that was October 2013, and shortly after that I broke up with Stuart. It was uh, super awkward and kind of terrible, and he didn't leave for a while, so it was like the most stressful household you'd ever been in, and it was just an awful ordeal. But he eventually did move out, and we got our new roommate, Justine, and that was lovely, and we had a lot of good times <laughs> as the three of us. Um, and then the beginning of the next year, 2014, I met Ben, who is my current boyfriend, and he's quite lovely. We get along very well. <laughs> I mean, what do you say? What do you say about someone you're dating? You're like, yeah, they're nice. I mean, I'm dating them, so obviously I enjoy their company. So I guess then I kept doing film school. Ben dropped out, and this was a kind of a thing because I was, you know, it's funny looking back at the old collab videos because I'm all like, ooh, look, I'm in film school and it's great and I love film school and like I hate film school. I it was like, it was not great for me. Um, the second year was a complete waste and it was also $13,000-ish for each year of film school that I did. So it was a lot of money and a lot of time and I would watch Ben like go to work and work in film and there I was in film school not getting any farther ahead because film is like you start at the bottom and you work your way up. So you know, whatever. In the end, I did it. It's fine. And that summer, 2015, I had to put Jazz down. Jazz, my bigger husky dog. Um, she was sick and old, and it was like one of the most difficult things I've ever done. Katie went with me for that, and I just really appreciate that because it's so hard to just admit, like, no, my dog is sick and I need to put her down now. Um, and yeah, whatever. I, I'll like start crying if I get too much into that, but I did. Um, put her down and that was awful. And I guess the other thing that happened was, because at that time, like, Ben was in Europe when I put Jazz down, which made it extra difficult. Um, and Katie had dealt with her abortion, like, she had had the abortion earlier that year, so a lot of emotions come along with that. And, you know, like, Katie, Katie said that all in her own video, and I'm not gonna try and explain her feelings on it, because I don't know, I didn't do it. But, obviously, that was a huge thing to deal with. Um, ben was working in film, I was working in film, he was over all the time, like a lot of things came together all at the wrong time I think. Like Katie and I had been roommates for what, like two or three years or something at that time, I don't even know for sure. But it was a long time, I think honestly we were just done being roommates but everything else was happening so it made for not the greatest uh, situation. Um, Katie and I, when I moved out we weren't actually on great terms, there was a lot of things that just, I don't know, it was, it wasn't a happy situation. So I moved in with Ben and his parents. We live in the basement of his parents' house because like Katie said, it's way too expensive to live in Vancouver and we can't really afford to be anywhere else because uh, he's trying to save up for a house, which is also super expensive in Vancouver. So here we are. It's a great situation uh, now and who knows, I just really hope that one day Vancouver is affordable because this is where I need to be to work. So the whole thing with Katie, we didn't talk for a while uh, it was like tense and weird and then I think after a while of not talking to someone you're just like well how do we start this back up again? Um, so we actually didn't really talk until Dominique came and visited like the end of last year and was like hey y'all let's go bouldering and it was like okay yeah sure whatever. Uh, so Katie and I and Dominique went bouldering and it was like oh wow hey Katie like what have you been doing? And then we started Katie and I started bouldering together and then it's kind of like got us back talking and you know I had my friend back and that was really good so thank you Dominique because I don't really I don't know I don't talk about that whole situation because it was just like this really terrible awkward awful situation that just it was a bunch of yeah the wrong things happening at the wrong time making something else happen because um, yeah I think Katie and I were just done being roommates and then everything else was just emotions and whatever so I don't know, Katie and I haven't even talked about that actually because I don't know, why would you? It was just like, it's done now and let's move on with our lives because I miss you as a friend. Um, 
I guess in 2016 I started ADing, assistant directing, like I wanted to do, and I started doing it, and I was like, this isn't great. Uh, right from the beginning, I kind of knew that I didn't want to do it, uh, but I kept doing it, because I was like, what else will I do when I work so hard to get here, and what the hell, and that's a really hard thing to deal with when you're like, I have this career, just kidding, I don't want it. So yeah, I, I AD'd until like the beginning of this year, and now I've decided I want to go into lighting. Uh, ben does lighting, it's more fun, more money, less stress, it's great. I don't know, it just, I feel better. Uh, doing lighting than I did AD work. So, I mean, that's good. Maybe I'll stick with this one. I have no idea. Film is just such a, a weird thing. Like, I love working in film, but it is a lifestyle. Like, it's not really a job. It's a lifestyle because it's just crazy hours and just crazy times. But I have been in Arnold Schwarzenegger paparazzi photos, and that's kind of cool. But, you know, there was also a lot of days in the rain <laughs> and feeling awful and being like, why do I do this to myself? What else happened in my life? I paid off my debt at the beginning of this year and that was like, oh wow, my debt's gone, so let's save up for a trip. And Ben and I went to Europe for five weeks and that's what we did. We only got back like two weeks ago or something like that. And it was super lovely. It was my first time going to countries that didn't speak English. Um, we'd been to Mexico for a week, but we were at a resort, so it's like not the same thing, I don't think. Yeah, it seems like my work in my life now is just like working. Like if you really just condense the last three years, it's I broke up with that boyfriend, got a new one who's much better, moved in with him, and work a lot. Uh, and then we travel sometimes now that I've paid off my debt. That's pretty much what I've done. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's good to talk to you guys. And I think that we should continue to keep in touch and maybe keep in touch better than we have been, I think. And do Secret Santa. I realized, like, I again, seeing those videos, I was like, we did Secret Santa. I feel like we should do it this year, and I think it would be a good time. Uh, so, yeah, I guess it's like, I just don't want to stop talking. It, ah, maybe it's because I have to edit this, and I know I have to edit it, and I really just hate editing. Uh, but, hey, whatever. So, I guess I'll talk to you guys soon. I can't wait to see all your videos and know what's going on, because I, I knew what was happening with Katie. I talk to Katie all the time. So yeah, I've missed you guys. Um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye! <laughs> and... Dog.